They are a backbone to this country, a part of the economy you can say has been strained this year. So if people didn't show up, oh my gosh, you know, we, we really would have a hard time surviving. Or even crush. The backs of so many businesses have been against the wall in 2020. We got to get cooking because people need it. This week, we show you how they're trying to make a rebound. We've had people coming out and enjoying that time together, but also supporting local business. The people fighting to stay open. I don't want to run you over with them. And make it through this pandemic. So this is The Race. Yes, I did. Welcome to The Race. I'm Chris Stewart. For many businesses, this is the busiest time of year. It usually brings a rush they can rely on. But in 2020's economy, nothing is a guarantee. And here in Oakland, a business and an industry hit hard by this pandemic is proving to stay open, it will do whatever it takes. You might have forgotten what it felt like to be in a room like this. There was a connection. You came for the kind of feeling like you were a part of something. An energy that this pandemic has turned into emptiness inside Oakland's new Parkway Theater. We already, as a independent movie theater, we pride ourselves in having some of the lowest ticket prices around town, uh, and also at the same time, paying our employees the most out of a living wage and more than any other movie theater around. So just by that already, like our margins are really, really narrow. Carlos Cortade is familiar with the script that's been written for theaters like his in 2020. Hundreds have closed. Many will never show films again. Was there ever a point that you worried that this theater would have to close for good? Absolutely, yeah, I think so. But this place is unique. That's easy to see. And right now, being different is invaluable for a business. Unlike a lot of movie theaters around, like we had the benefit of having a full-size kitchen. Call it a plot twist that's keeping the lights on at a movie theater that hasn't shown a movie in nine months. New Parkway staff prepare and package food they typically would serve in their theater, but now sell it to customers who order online. For the most part, uh, it's been enabling us to keep our heads above water. The food helps pay the rent at a time when this movie-less theater is missing around $180,000 a month in revenue. But when you look around Oakland, like many cities, you can see why just being open is a win. I don't think anybody really even knows how deep the effect is gonna be long term. As coronavirus, social distancing, and isolation threaten movie theaters today, the threat of tomorrow for this industry Beyond this pandemic, if you ask Marcus Osborne, is whether customers will ever fully come back. How are we gonna to continue to make movie theaters and other forms of entertainment important to people if they found a way to live without it for the last almost two years going by the time we get through 2021? I've heard a lot of people saying that they're not gonna come back to the theater, you know, you know, even post pandemic. The new Parkway says it won't fully reopen until there's a vaccine readily available. It's hard to predict the ending to this pandemic, but like a movie, you can find a moral in the story of businesses like this one, finding a way through it, no matter what. Sometimes you just gotta think outside the box. Something that might not be obvious or clear right away uh, shouldn't prevent you from looking at things that, in a different point of view. So far this season, Christmas tree sales are booming. Many people say they just want something happy in their homes to close out 2020. Alexa Liako is on a Christmas tree farm that's giving up profits to make sure more people can afford a tree. It's the time of year to bundle up. What do you think? I might think that's a good one. Pick out a tree. Go ahead, you start cutting it down. And make time for tradition. Did it. Because despite the year of struggle, there are moments worth celebrating. What was that? Look at that. It's like, good job, Daddy. Good job, Dad. And in some places, 
life almost seems normal. Everything has been canceled or changed or you can't do this or you can't do this. So the nice thing about our trees here is they're they're planted at six feet apart, coincidentally. The Piper Mountain Christmas tree farm didn't plan for the pandemic. We got 30 acres of trees up here. But they're hoping families can find a small escape when they visit. People can spread out, uh, find their trees, stay safe. Um, and enjoy that kind of time together with their family, which is so important, I think, and particularly in a time like this. After retiring from the Navy, Mac McCullen and his wife Ann took over the farm. Favorite part of the run of the farm is, is quite honestly just being outside. It's a joy the McCullens were terrified of losing because of COVID-19. We weren't sure that people were going to show up. Uh, we were very pleased our first weekend to have a, a probably better than normal weekend, and it's kind of continued to be that way. Even our weekdays, which are typically pretty slow, two or three people here and there, uh, have been fairly steady. And it's not just at this farm. Demand for Christmas trees is skyrocketing all across the country, so much so that some farms are even seeing shortages. But thankfully at this farm, there was no shortage of trees or families coming to pick them out. I think it's a better idea, especially after this year, to support the local businesses. This is probably one of the best things we enjoy to do, uh, to stay together. I haven't been get to get a tree anywhere else since I've been born. These simple moments, you ready Miss Kaylee? Are making sure the McCullen's legacy can live on. It's a huge relief because not only do we have, you know, to deal with COVID, but we're a seasonal business. Uh, people don't buy Christmas trees year round. Uh, so all of our sales happen okay. in the months of November and December. So if people didn't show up, oh my gosh, you know, we, we really would have a hard time surviving. I'm sorry, I get a little emotional about it because it's like, you know, it's just us. For my wife and I, uh, we don't have children. So our workers, the people that are here with us, support us, our, our family. That's the emotional piece of it. Just being able to be, you know, in something together and to be able to create you know, things that we know people enjoy. For those close enough to visit, taking home a Piper Mountain tree is a tradition they won't miss. Let's bring it around, we'll shake it out. Yeah, rotate it. We love a real Christmas tree. There's nothing like it, and it always feels like home to come here and get a tree. This year would be in memory of my mom, Gayla. Um, she used to love to come here, and actually she's the main reason why we keep coming here. Um, we lost her about three years ago, and it's the only way to kind of, you know, keep her memory with us, really, because Christmas was her favorite time of year. And for more families than ever, this reminder of happiness, no matter how big or small, is one way to bring the joy of Christmas past into the present. For The Race, I'm Alexa Liaco. It's not all struggle for small businesses right now. Some are actually thriving. We're in the kitchen with one family whose recipe got so popular this year, it ended up on store shelves. When The Race continues. <laughs>